Now that we've given some shape to the arms, let's go ahead and do the same thing for the legs. So I'm going to start down on the feet and I want this to be like a two toed kind of talon claw kind of a look. And so I'm going to go into clay build up. I'm just going to fill in, see the crease there where it makes the toes very separated. So what I want to do is just create this sort of tendon that kind of goes and extends straight all the way up the toe. I'll kind of smooth that back in and we can remesh at any time. We'll do the same thing over here. Something like that. Remesh. We can come in here with a smaller brush and kind of in here, kind of blend these toes together. We can push in and pull out as necessary. Kind of smoothing that back in, remeshing. Can go over the top there of, uh, as well if you need to come back in and make that a little bit taller. I want them to be a little bit more of a straight line versus coming down and then turning. Okay, so something like that. Let's go ahead on the back of the leg here, kind of add some bony landmarks. And maybe up here as well. Again, smoothing it back into the surface and remeshing as well. Now, if you find that you're, if you're doing these long strokes and you find that you're getting a, kind of a jitter, you can always turn on lazy mouse. So if we go under stroke, lazy mouse, and let's take the lazy radius up a bit. What this will do is allow us to make nice smooth strokes. Let's actually start down the toe. And so it sort of smooths out any of the jitter that you might have on a long stroke. You can see that red tail kind of there. Kind of blend that back into the leg there. Round it off a bit. All right, let's also add, see where it's kind of sitting on the ground. I wanna add some geometry or add some, some detail Let's take this back down or turn it off um, back here so that you can see the, the flesh kind of sticking out where it's stuck on the ground, if that makes sense, where it's flattened. So something like that. You can kind of do the same thing here in the middle. Okay, we can also start to make kind of the where that claw is going to come out. So maybe something like that. And then I want to use a combination of the clay brush. Let's get a lower intensity and a kind of a smaller draw size. And I want to come, come across here and create kind of these folds. Okay. And I want to do the same thing up here. So all the way kind of across. So as you can see, we can use that. And then we can also use a combination of Damien's standard brush to kind of draw around there and we can kind of just continue that around kind of like that same thing here so i'm just going to come across kind of like that go across to the other side and down okay and you can see where we can take what we've already done and and just emphasize that by going back along the the creases there we can also emphasize these sort of wrinkles that we have going on here on the inside of the toes, something like that. All right, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that across the whole thing. Go ahead and it's the same kind of idea. You just want to go all across the legs from here all the way down. And I would stop probably. Uh, I wouldn't extend it up into the upper leg, but maybe just kind of blend it out into the this part of the leg. But for the claws, we can do those in a number of different ways. Uh, one of the ways we can do it is we can go get our uh, snake hook brush actually so let's hit s and this one is normally one that you don't really want to mess with too much but because we're using dynamesh it's actually going to be okay so we're going to grab this and i'm just going to pull it out i want to get a kind of a bigger draw size here i'm going to grab the toe and i'm just going to pull it out and you can see let's go kind of to the side it gives me a little bit more of a, a pointed look there. You can smooth it out a little bit if it's not doing exactly what you want. Okay, let's get it kind of a bigger draw size. And so then you want to just give it some shape. Kind of turn it a little bit. Okay, you could also insert 
claw geometry. If you sculpt it separately, you can do that. And then we can do the same exact same thing that we did with the other claws. And so we could mask this off. Go ahead and mask all the way around. Okay, kind of like that. And then we can come into our subtool palette, come down to split, and let's split masked points. Okay, now we can remesh that, go back to our body, remesh the body, and now we can sculpt those separately. So we could come back in with our clay buildup, sculpt around, make sure to unmask everything, sculpt around that claw, and then we can treat the claw as a completely separate object and do it just like we did with the other ones, grab it and kind of pull it into uh, the rest of the object. And you can do the same for the other toe. All right, for the upper leg, again, this is gonna be covered and so we don't really need to do too much, uh, but we could come in here and just add a little bit of, of a more traditional leg kind of a look. And so we got our Damien standard brush um, we could come in and, and start to add a little bit of the musculature coming in, maybe. Smooth that out a little bit. Again, don't forget to, to create those lines across the rest of the leg. We'll come in here, you know, across the back. And then right on the sides of this leg, let's go ahead and get our clay build up. Kind of come in and create a little bit of detail right in here. Okay, something like that. All right, so between this lesson and next, go ahead and create your lines kind of going across. Separate out the claws, so you can do this one. And then I would go ahead and also just shape this a little bit. So if we go to move, I would just maybe pull this in a little. You don't want just a complete cylinder. You want, that, that you want it to have a little bit of shape there. All right, and so you want it to kind of be a bit more uh, wider at the joints. You can also come in and add, let's turn the floor off for a second. We can add some lines here. Anywhere where we've, we've got a bend like this, we can start to add our detail. Okay, so something like that. Get rid of the dots there. Anywhere it's bent like that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue these lines across the leg, and then we'll see what it looks like in the next lesson when we go in and start to add things like the tooth and the horns to the head. So we'll do that next.